In the beginning, when the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground and placed him in the Garden of Eden, Adam was lonely, so the Lord God made a companion and a helper for him. When Adam saw Eve, he was no longer lonely. God can lead us to our life's companion. Abraham prayed that God would find a wife for his son Isaac. God answered that prayer. When Abraham's servant found Rebekah, the servant bowed and worshiped, praising God. Then he brought her to his master's son. The scripture says Isaac loved her and was comforted. God has guided Crystal and Thomas to this moment, has blessed their love and brought them together to enter into the holy union of marriage. ceremony in which we come to be united is the first and oldest that God ordained and set in place. In the beginning, in the presence of God, marriage is a gift of God given to comfort the sorrows of life and to magnify its joys. Marriage is the clasping of hands, the blending of hearts, the union of two lives as one. Your marriage must stand not only by the authority of the state, nor by the seal on your wedding certificate, but rather it must stand by the strength of your love. It must stand by your devotion to one another in good and bad times. Finally, it must stand because of God's participation in your relationship. Marriage can be the greatest human relationship you will ever experience. However, in order for marriage to reach its fullest potential, you must allow God to play a part and a primary role in this relationship. He knows your thoughts and your needs. He understands your hearts and your love for one another. In fact, God is who created that love. Dear Thomas Bay, where do I begin? God truly has something special in store for you when he made me complete. There were days when I didn't think we would make it, but God, the road hasn't always been easy and we failed along the way. But most important, we never gave up on one another. You have not only become my soulmate, but my best friend. You are the best dad in the entire world, and I can't thank God enough for you. I know God had a special plan for our lives. From this day forward, I will always love you more and more. We will grow old and gray together. I will always and forever choose you I can't wait to walk down the aisle to my forever. Thomas Riggins, I love you this day and until death shall we part. Baby, <clears throat> as I sit here looking for the words to explain my love for you, there are truly no words that can explain my love. If anyone would have, would have said uh, we would have been here confessing our love on this day a few years ago, I would, have, I would have just laughed and looked the other way. I would go through it over and over as long as I get to go over and go through it with you. I just pray that God uh, continues to shape and mold us so we will be, be more like his image. My only fear is not being the man that God made me to be. Lord knows this has been my prayer for the past few weeks to be the man he wants me to be. I love you and cherish you. This day and many more days we have coming here, now, and in the future. Love, Thomas. You have come before us and before God and have expressed your desire to be husband and wife. You have shown your love and affection by joining hands. You have made promises of faith and devotion to each other and have sealed these promises by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore pronounce that you are husband and wife. May God bless you and keep you and give you his peace. Amen. What God has joined together, let no man separate. Thomas, you may kiss your bride. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs>